What is up everyone, hope everyone's doing well and on this video we're doing a cut on my brother John Paul. In this video I'm going to talk over how, how I do the steps and then at the end I'm going to talk about how I got into barbering. If you're in interested in my story, keep watching and comment down below how you got into this industry if you're a barber yourself. On JP we're doing a skin fade so I start off the haircut with, by doing my guideline with a slimline pros. Then after that, to take it down to skin, I use my Andis Pro Foils. Create another guideline with a blade fully open, that's a 0.5. This will help create that transition from skin to hair. Once I've created that transition from skin to hair with a 0.5 guideline, I go straight to a 1.5 guard and remove some bulk so I can start down fading. Down fading is pretty simple. Um, I start with a big guard, for instance, I always use a 1.5 guard. I down fade from that, 1.5 fully open, then gradually close it, then go to a 1 guard fully open, then gradually close it, then lastly go to a 0.5 and then do the same thing. This is a very quick and easy technique. You can do it really quick to get a foundation and if it's not perfect you can go back to it and sometimes I even down fade twice. If it's not perfect the first time I'll go back to a 1.5 guard and down fade again. After the down fading process, I decided not to go back over it and went straight to clip or overcomb to soften up the weight line I've left.
straight hair, I like to freehand to create that smooth transition from short to long hair. Make sure you do it with a really flat blade. I like to do it with a five knot blade on the ZRs or with my magic clips because it has the flat fade blade. Before freehanding, make sure the hair is straight and sticks out. For those people with curly hair or hair that likes to lay flat, make sure you do not freehand on those types of hair. As you can see on JP's crown, you can see that his hair sticks out. So his hair is perfect for freehanding. JP has very straight hair so I point cut it to give it a jagged look instead of making it blunt by club cutting. So how I started barbering, um, 4 to 5 years ago my brother just randomly asked me if I could cut his hair, this was when I was like 12 or 13 and it was just like an undercut, one back and sides. Uh, to be honest it wasn't that great but I was, I was thinking to myself I could do so much better. So I went on YouTube, looked up tutorials, watched a few of them. Then after cutting JP's hair for a few times, I realized I was, I was enjoying it. I enjoyed cutting hair. Pretty much cutting hair started out as a hobby. I was, it was just for fun. And then my friends soon started asking me for a haircut every week. Like I'll be cutting in my, in my kitchen. And to be honest, it, it worked, it, I didn't do the best haircuts, but it was cheap, so yeah. And then it just got a bit serious around, I was like 15, 16. And then when I finished school, I went to Kieran the Barber, asked to be his apprent apprentice, and then yeah, he took me on. And I've been uh, working with him for almost a year now. I chose Kieran out of all the barbers in Ellsbury because He's the one that inspired me to start up Instagram because he had a really high following and it showed me how, how far you can get into the barbering, barbering community. So I started up doing Instagram as well just for fun, but now I see it as advertising.